Okay, this is a video of a 1 350th scale Japanese Maritime Self-Defense Force helicopter carrying destroyer. That's what they call it, a DDH. This is the uh, Japanese ship Hayuga. They built two of these to replace the older actual uh, helicopter carrying destroyers that they had that actually looked like destroyers. It's obvious what these ships look like. And the Japanese, of course, when they came out, this one was commissioned in 2009, number 82. The ISO was com uh, commissioned in 2011, and they were commissioned as DDHs, uh, emphasizing the fact that they intended not to carry any uh, fixed-wing aircraft. Almost as soon as they finished these two, they began designing and building two more that are much larger. These uh, ships have uh, about a 650-foot deck, whereas the new Zimu class carries uh, many more helicopters and has a deck that is 900 feet long. What I wanted to show was some developments uh, the Japanese announced uh, fairly recently that they were going to buy the F-35B from the United States. This is something that I had predicted as soon as this ship uh, was seen building uh, in the 2007 and 8 time frame. Uh, it's obvious it's a carrier and it is tailor-made to be able to carry jump jets like the Harrier and in particular, the fifth generation stealth fighter. So I'm going to make a conversion here real quickly. You can see some aircraft off to the side uh, that I have put there. I don't think that the Japanese will use the Hayuga class uh, to carry these aircraft, but they could. These, aircraft, this, uh, these ships were not heat treated for the F-35B, so they would have to do that uh, to make this ship capable of handling on a permanent basis or any long-term basis the F-35B. Also interesting to note that the Japanese have also bought the uh, vertical takeoff and landing Osprey and they have uh, already practiced on the Hayuga and its sister as well as the Izimu class. Uh, with those ships, with those, uh, with those aircraft. However, they have announced their intention to uh, do a refit to these, both of the Izimu class ships, uh, the Izimu, which is number 83, and the Kaga, which is 84, actually 184, 183, and then 182 and 181. So I am going to take just a moment here and put these F-35Bs on the carrier to show you uh, what the Hayuga would look like if she were to, in fact, carry uh, the F-35B. We'll take this helicopter off. We'll take this helicopter off and station them back there. We're going to take the larger helicopter place it back there, keep everything else the same. I'm going to bring these over. I'm going to show one of these aircraft making a run, a short run, but a run nonetheless. Have another one back here in the takeoff position. Have a couple of aircraft stationed ready to take off. Group of four. And have another one on that elevator, and voila, you have a jump jet Hayuga. The Hayuga could carry somewhere between 8 and 12 of these F 35Bs. And that's an impressive little, little carrier, little escort carrier for the Japanese. I believe they could do it, and if the naval arms race continues, they may perhaps convert these so that they can also become involved uh, with the need to protect their sea lanes 
however, these two ships are also excellently suited to do uh, and serve as large centerpiece command ships for large anti-submarine warfare uh, shipping and war uh, missions. And, and that's one of the main missions that the, Jap the Japanese have with the United States in the Western Pacific. So it's not clear that they would do this, but I think you can see that they would be capable of it. I'm going to, as soon as there is a 1 350th scale Izimu, I'm going to purchase it and make it the center of my Japanese carrier strike group. I already have a video of that with this aircraft carrier carrying helicopters, uh, but with all of its escorts with it. They don't have a 1 350th scale, so I have purchased two, uh, the Kaga and the follow-on uh, carrier design that the Japanese have already come up with. It hasn't been purchased yet. So, I wanted you to see this, let you know that it's capable. This is this model was made by Fujimi, and it's an excellent model. Uh, really enjoyed building it when I put it together. Hope you guys have enjoyed seeing the conversion and uh, some things that folks are up to in the Western Pacific. The Japanese have two carriers. Now, by the way, on the Izimu class, they are adding uh, ski jumps to those carriers. And the new design, which can carry up to 30 aircraft, uh, also has a ski jump. The Izimu class will carry somewhere between 20 and 24 F-35Bs, and that will be a very healthy aircraft carrier uh, in the Western Pacific. By the way, the Koreans are doing the same to their Dokdo class, uh, which are just a little larger here than the uh, Hayuga. Thanks again. This is Jeff Head. Thanks for watching.